Well, I hope you stayed warm this morning and hopefully you can stay warm again tonight. We're going to see those temperatures dropping down below freezing across a lot of the region. Tulsa tomorrow morning waking up near 30 degrees and some of those favored cold spots will probably drop into the 20s for tomorrow morning. Wind won't be as strong, but we'll still have some wind chill values in a handful of spots managing to drop into the upper teens. So we'll have a cold start on Wednesday morning. Freeze warning is in effect basically along in north of I-44. As we head into tomorrow afternoon, temperatures a little bit warmer warmer compared to today, but not much. Still running well below the average for this time of year. We'll work our way into the mid 50s. Winds though very light starting out out of the east to southeast maybe about three to eight miles per hour. Not very fast at all and clouds will be on the increase and there is a slim chance we could even get a few sprinkles or a shower as we go into tomorrow afternoon. I'll show you where here in just a second, but you'll notice how temperatures could be a little cooler south and west. That's one of the reasons why is we might see a couple of those showers work into around Oklahoma City, keeping the temperatures down just a little bit there. Most of us though, we're probably looking at mid to upper 50s uh, tomorrow afternoon, a little bit warmer as you go farther to the south and to the east and mentioned that slim chance we get a stray shower or a few sprinkles tomorrow. It will not amount to much because we're going to have a lot of dry air in place that will really limit that potential. But if by chance you happen to get a very brief shower or maybe a few sprinkles, certainly will be a possibility. Nothing out there though like that right now. Here's the view from Brookside looking back toward downtown. Beautiful shot here on the Wade's RV weather camera network. You can see the high level cirrus clouds as we look here from Bailey Medical Center in Owasso. Again, nothing of any type of clouds that have produced precipitation for us this evening. May get a few more of these to mix in as we go through the evening hours. Storm system and the cold front that moved through yesterday that's giving us a chilly air. That continues to push off to the east. You can see the low clouds here across Missouri into parts of Illinois. Very very cold. You get underneath some of that low cloud cover to our north and east. And there's more clouds moving in here from the west. And we'll have that weak disturbance moving in tomorrow that may have a chance to spark a few showers as we go into tomorrow afternoon. This particular model, I think, is a little over aggressive with how this looks. But again, if we got a sprinkle or two, wouldn't surprise me. Don't anticipate anything really measurable as we head into tomorrow. That'll move on out. Clouds will clear out. We should see a lot of sunshine as we head into Thursday. What will happen? We've got high pressure out here to our east. Get that clockwise flow around the high. That means south winds going into Thursday afternoon. And that will be the start of our warm up. And speaking of warm up, let's fast forward to Easter Sunday. And how about this sunrise services Easter Sunday morning will be very comfortable mid 70s as we go through midday finishing in the low 80s Easter Sunday afternoon those Easter egg hunts. Oh yeah, we're gonna be in great shape. Notice even by Friday we're back up into the 70s low 80s on Saturday. Cold front's gonna move in as we head into Monday. That'll give us a chance of storms and likely cool us off into the middle part of next week. Caden.